Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'll show you the eight symptoms of a bad AC pressure switch you need to watch out for, how to test it with a multimeter and without one, replacement cost, and how to reset or replace it yourself if need be. So let's dive right in. So where is the AC pressure switch located? The AC pressure switch is typically located in one of the following areas, depending on the vehicle make and model. One on the high pressure AC line, commonly found along the aluminum AC lines, especially near the firewall in the engine bay. Two near the AC compressor, sometimes mounted directly on or near the compressor unit itself. Three on the AC dryer or accumulator. In some vehicles, you'll find the switch attached to the dryer or accumulator canister, which is part of the AC system's refrigerant storage. Four behind the radiator fan assembly, Certain models place the pressure switch near the condenser, which is located in front of the radiator. Eight symptoms of a bad AC pressure switch. If your AC is blowing warm air despite setting it to maximum cool, the pressure switch might not be signaling the compressor properly. It's like telling someone to go and they just stare at you. Another clear sign is when the AC compressor doesn't engage. Without the compressor running, you won't get any cool air. It's that simple. One of the most frustrating symptoms is intermittent cooling. One minute you're cool, the next you're sweating, and this inconsistency is a classic sign of a failing switch. If your AC randomly shuts off while you're driving, it's likely that the pressure switch is sending false signals, causing the system to turn off to prevent damage, or it's simply failing. Modern cars can display warning lights or codes related to AC issues. If you scan your vehicle, you might find an error code pointing directly to the AC pressure switch. Sometimes a faulty switch can make the compressor overwork, putting unnecessary strain on your engine and potentially causing it to overheat. If you notice that your AC refuses to start cooling right after you start your car, that could mean the pressure switch isn't communicating properly with the system. Finally, if you hook up a pressure gauge and notice erratic pressure readings, that inconsistency is a dead giveaway that your AC pressure switch is acting up. How to test AC pressure switch with a multimeter. First, make sure to wear safety gloves and disconnect the car battery. This prevents any electrical accidents and keeps you safe. Start by locating the AC pressure switch in your vehicle. Focus on accessing it safely. Once you've found the switch, disconnect the electrical connector attached to it. Set your multimeter to continuity mode. Now, touch the multimeter leads to the terminals of the switch. If the switch is good, you should get a stable reading. If there's no continuity or the reading jumps all over the place, the switch is bad and needs replacing. If you're unsure about the readings, always double check with your vehicle's service manual to confirm the expected values. AC pressure switch replacement cost. Let's talk about how much this fix will cost you. If you decide to do it yourself, you're looking at spending between $20 and $50 for the part. That's a pretty affordable solution especially when you consider that most of the expense comes from labor if you go to a mechanic. Taking it to a professional can cost you anywhere from $100 to $250, depending on your vehicle and location. While it might be tempting to grab the cheapest part you can find, I strongly recommend sticking to reputable brands. Cheap knockoffs might save you a few bucks now, but could fail sooner, costing you more in the long run. How to replace the AC pressure switch. If you're ready to tackle this job yourself, I'll walk you through the replacement process step by step. First, always disconnect the car battery to prevent any electrical issues while you're working. Next, you may need to release the refrigerant pressure from the system. Be cautious, releasing refrigerant can be dangerous and may be subject to local environmental regulation. Once you've ensured the system is safe to work on, locate the AC pressure switch and use the appropriate wrench to carefully remove it. Some models will have a clip holding it in place, so be prepared to release that as well. Before installing the new switch, inspect the O-rings and replace them if necessary. Lightly lubricating the new O-rings can help ensure a proper seal and prevent leaks. Hand thread the new switch into place to avoid cross-threading, then use your wrench to tighten it snugly. Don't over-tighten, you don't want to damage the threads. Reconnect the electrical connector and any components you removed to access the switch. Finally, reconnect the battery and test your AC to see if it's working properly. How to reset AC pressure switch. Sometimes you don't need to replace the switch. A simple reset might solve the problem. There are two easy methods you can try. The first is to perform a battery disconnect reset. Start by disconnecting the battery terminals and leave them disconnected for 10 to 15 minutes. This gives the vehicle's electronic systems time to reset. 
After reconnecting the battery, turn on your car and test the AC. If the issue is just a glitch, this method should fix it. The second method involves using an OBD2 scanner to clear error codes. Plug the scanner into your vehicle's diagnostic port, scan for error codes, and look for any related to the AC system. If you find codes linked to the pressure switch, clear them with the scanner. Start the car afterward to check if your AC is functioning correctly. If resetting doesn't solve the problem, then the switch is likely faulty and should be replaced. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and drop your questions in the comments. I will try and respond to everyone.